So the biggest difference again is that you get more more um, more um, settings to the business manager. So that's what this is, right? So what we want to do is we want to start with the top is is the account. So now we'll set up a new ad account. The ad account is what's tied to the credit card. So you'll start running ads out of out of this one, and it will get pulled from from whatever card. So go ahead and click on the blue one, and let's just add this real quick. So we're gonna we're gonna um, create a new ad account. So we'll create a new ad account. And what I like to do is name everything the same. So for example, the top left, you have it named your name, Heather Schwan. That's that's the name of everything. So if that's the name that we're running with, okay, that's the same name for the ad account. That's gonna be the same name for the pixel. Um, and we'll keep everything the same name, unless you wanna name it something different right now. Like a lot of times people will put real estate or realtor or whatever, they'll just, I'll and just this is internal. Right now, just because it's me in business. So. Yeah, that's fine. That, that's perfect. And no one sees that anyways, that's all internal. So go ahead and click on, yeah, click on your 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 time. Wait, where's central at? Time zone. Okay, cool. So you're gonna go my business. We'll go, we'll go my business and then create. And so the reason why you'd want to change that, we'll go back and change that name because now you have two accounts named the same. You have this business account name, Heather Schwan, and then you have your account name, Heather Schwan, right? So that's why in the future, you'll, you'll, we'll just edit the name, no big deal. Okay, so hit, hit, hit that circle on the top left, Heather. You'll always check that because you're always giving permission to you. Now, the business manager is kind of like, it's kind of like its own entity. The same way real estate, a lot of agents, they'll go out there and set up an LLC, right? The LLC, it's your, it's your LLC, but it's its own entity. Mm -hmm. Heather Schwan, it's, it's still responsible for that LLC, even though it's a completely different entity. Same right. thing here. It's the same analogy that I'm, it's an analogy that I'm trying to give you here where okay. the business manager, it's its own entity, but Heather is still tied to it. Okay. So you'll always want to check your name there and then give yourself um, full control. The bottom one to the right shade, that one in blue, perfect assign. Okay, cool. And then add payment info. And then just go ahead and put, you can either tie PayPal or tie a card. Okay, so that part's set up. We're good there. So now to the very, very left, what we want to do is we want to tie up the Instagram, make sure that's tied, tied to the account, Instagram account. Click on that one. This one should be, okay, cool. cool. So you're good there. Um, and then scroll down. So data sources, let's go ahead and set up this pixel real quick. So click on pixel. And then we're going to add and then we'll go ahead and just um, name it the same, Heather Schwann's pixel, or just take away the word pixel. You could just name everything Heather Schwann. Everything's Heather, Heather Schwann. Okay, okay, cool. And then continue. And so now that we have our, our, our cartridge pages up, we can simply add it to the page real quick. So right here, we're going to go, go ahead and click on set up the pixel now. I, I do know. have a pixel to my website. I don't know. It's not this pixel. It would be a pixel maybe from maybe one of the other accounts. Uh -huh. um, but this will be a whole, a whole new, new account. Um, so click on, click on the, the middle one, manually add pixel code. Yeah. Click on that one. And then that right there, just click, hover over the blue and click. Okay. Cool. And then hit continue. That's your whole pixel code and then hit cancel. Okay. So now what we want to do is take it to Kartra real quick. So let's go, let's go to Kartra and we'll start with the, um, we'll come back to this part. So just click on back and click on cancel. So click on pages to the left and let's, let's start with, in fact, we'll put them on both, but let's start with the opt-in page. Actually, they're, it's going to go on all of the pages, but let's start with the opt-in page. So click on the three dots and go to edit. And so this is, yeah, the opt-in, yeah. Three dots, edit. So this is where you'll add your, your pixel. So what we'll do right away is click on, actually, yeah, go through this tutorial. Just click, keep hitting next, next, next. Awesome. So now in here, we're going to click on settings to the very left. So you'll see settings. And then one thing that I'll always do right away is click on SEO parameters. You see all these tabs that you have open at the top. You have yeah. Gmail, Zoom in one hour. You have the okay. Zoom one post attendee. There's titles, right? There's titles in the tab, a, a, a name in the tab. That's your name in the tab. So a page title. So your free seller guide, you can always change that. So if you want to name it something else, what, you know, give it a different name. You can always change it there. Um, so hit settings again. We want to go to the second one down and go to tracking code. So tracking code, this is where all the different codes of different ways you could track the page. This is where all that stuff goes. So at the very, very bottom, yeah, Facebook, paste it in right there. Okay, paste and then apply. Okay, cool. Now on the top right, you're going to hit the green button, actions, 
save progress, publish live. Okay, cool. So that was the pixel. Um, and most websites are the same. And that's why even with your, with your, with your real estate website, your actual, the one you got from your publish live. Yeah. Publish live. So you want to make sure that that pixel is on anything else you got going on. Okay. So just like a few minutes ago, you said you have a pixel, like we want this pixel to be on everything. Okay. So if anything, find out if, if, if you can add your own pixel to your real estate website. I think I can. I just don't know how. Okay. We'll figure that part out. So close, close this out right here, close, close, and then we'll hit actions and return a dashboard. And so that's how you add the pixel. So all you'll want to do later on is go into the thank you page, go into the call confirm page and do the same thing. Hit settings to the left tracking code and paste in that code. And you don't always have to go back to Facebook to grab it. Now that you have it on the opt-in, you can grab it from there. Okay. Right. So just copy the same code there and go add it to the call confirmed, add it to the thank you page. Right. So, oh, so, so now, do that to this one? you can do it now or, or you could do it later. Let, let, let's, um, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it's totally up to you. I just know we're, we're pressed for time. Right. Um, whatever you think is easier um, to get it up and going. Go ahead and, well, we need the domain. That's what's going to stop us right okay. now. We need that okay. domain, but um, well, then but you can add it now. Go ahead. Here, I guess. Yeah, go ahead and add it now. Listed. Let me let me touch on this page real quick because this really the other pages, the call confirmed and the email sequence. Those are the other two pages, right? Right now, we worked on the opt-in page. This is the thank you page, right? It's really these two pages. These are your two main pages. With these two pages, you can capture as many leads as you can possibly freaking handle. It's these two main pages. When someone comes to the landing page and they opt in and they come to this thank you page, this is your chance for that first appointment. This is, this is the chance. So, so that's why I call this the money page, because on this page, that's when that person now trusted you. They opted in. They're now in your world. They, you obviously caught their attention where they wanted to give up their information and download what, what, what you're offering. Right here, they need to see you in video. Okay. So this is a simple video you can shoot on your cell phone. Um, this could be a 30 minute or 30 minute, a 30 second video. This could be a 30 second video. And here are the four bullet points. So X on the top left, tracking codes, X is out. Let's look at this video real quick. Actually, it's not a video, it's just an image. But but this is where you would put the video. Okay. So on this video, here's what you want to jot down real quick. These are four bullet points. And this this is a video that you can work on over the weekend. Okay. The, the, here, 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 here's your home. Actually, you have two homework assignments. Okay. One homework assignment is the domain, figuring out where the hell that domain's at. And then the second one is going to be, is going to be to, your second homework assignment is going to be to do a simple video, simple video. And that's for the thank you page. So this video, four bullet points that you're, that you're going to hit on number one, I'm thanking them. That's a bullet point. Number one, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for downloading my 2022 seller guide in this seller guide. You're going to learn this, 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 and this, mm -hmm. right? Number one, I'm just thanking them and I'm giving them a little bit of idea of, of what, what's, what they can expect in the seller guide. And why, why you're so fired up and why they're going to learn so much. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself, right? And let them know a little background about me, why I'm so excited, why I love helping sellers, you know, little, and, and, and you can even get personal, you know, 20 seconds, 25 seconds. My name's Heather. I, I'm, I'm originally from the, the, the California area. I just came to Texas a couple of years ago with my family or whatever, like get, get a little mm -hmm. personal, get a little mm -hmm. personal, introduce yourself, let people know who the hell you are. That's number two. And then number three let them know that you just emailed their seller guide. So number three, I, was, I would say something like, hey guys, and by the way, I just sent you your seller guide. So make sure, it's your, it, make sure you check your inbox right away. Sometimes it lands in spam. So the title of the email is going to be your free seller guide. Make sure you look for it, do a search if you need to, but I just sent it to you. So I'm so excited for you to start reading it. So number three, I'm just kind of giving them you know, letting them know, hey, it could have landed in spam. So make sure you check there, but here's the title of it. You can title it whatever you want, but I'll, I'll, I'll let them know, you know, here on bullet point number three, the title of it is, is this, so make sure you look for it, right? That's number three, check your email. And then I will also say part of number three is I would also say, hey, and by the way, I have a ton of great emails, a ton of great content coming your way. So I'm going to be educating you on what it takes to sell in today's market. So make sure you check every email um, and, and make sure you open them right away. Okay. Right. So that's all part of number three. I'm, I'm letting them know, Hey, I just emailed your, your seller guide, but, but also be on the lookout for future, for future, um, future emails. And then number four, number four, the last one, I'm letting them know, I'm saying, Hey, 
And by the way, you guys, if you're in the market now, if you have questions that need to be answered now, click the button below. So scroll down, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Scroll down a little bit. Oh, you see the yellow button. So I would tell them, I say, hey, click the button below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. That's bullet point number four. So number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And number four, I'm telling them to schedule a call. That's that for that's that 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 short video that you would put there. Shoot it from your cell phone. Keep it simple. Maybe put even put your kids in it. Who, who no one cares. Like everybody wants to know who the hell Heather is. Show them the real Heather. Be be right. be as authentic as you can on this, right? Because that's what people are going to fall in love with is the real you. So this is the chance where we have that appoint where we get that chance to 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 shoot for the appointment. Now those that don't schedule an appointment here, that's why the email automation is so important because. You can capture the lead on Facebook or Instagram or run any ad online. Capturing the lead is one thing, but if you don't nurture that lead, that's where everybody drops the ball. So that's why Kartra is so important because of the email autoresponder. So those that don't schedule a call here, that's where those emails need to go out. So those emails are all going to be designed and written to get that person to schedule a call. So for example, if you land on this page and you don't schedule the call, Tomorrow, you're going to get another email. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. This is Heather. Hey, did you get a chance to get to page two yet? On page two, I'm talking about the importance of renovating your kitchen and how much value that can bring to the overall listing price as you go to sell. Here's what, what I meant by it. And by the way, Dave, if you have any questions, I'd love to talk to you. Click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. Right? That could be an email number two that went out to, to, to a lead that did not schedule a call. And Karcher will know who scheduled a call and who doesn't. I'll help you set all that up. Okay. And then, and then, and then th three days later, another email goes out. Hey, Dave, yeah. this Heather just wanted to follow up, right? So these emails are all written one time up front, but then we, we, you know, we, we program them, program them to go out maybe every two days, you know, after, after the fact, after they land there. So Karcher is so important because of the landing pages, because of the email autoresponder, and because of the online calendar. Those three tools are normally sold separately. Um, and that's why I use, I use Kartra because those are the main three tools that we all need. Um, so yeah, so save progress. Actually, hit the, did you hit the apply button to the, to the bottom left? Yes. Okay, cool. Okay, so publish live. Okay, good. So we're good there. Okay, okay so that's that tracking code. What's that? I've done the tracking code. Perfect. Okay, good. So as long as you hit the green apply button to the bottom left, you're fine. Okay, okay cool. So we got that. So that's all four pages. So now what we want to do really, really quick is click the three dots on the opt-in page, get code or link. So click the three dots, get code or link. And this is where we would change out the custom, change out the link, get the page link. We would change it out to the custom domain, but we don't have the custom domain yet. Get the page link. Click on that. Get the page link. Copy that link. And that would, again, that would normally be your custom domain. Okay. Open it up in a new tab so Facebook can read it for the first time. So now that we have the pixel on the page, Facebook is now going to track that visit. But it's not the most accurate track because it's, it's missing the domain. Facebook right. needs to know the domain that it's coming from. And, and we can't give that domain to Facebook because that's not our domain, right? Okay. It's our domain, but it's really Kartra's domain. So we need our own custom domain. Okay. So, so, okay. So now that's that. Let's go back to the ads manager real quick. Okay. So we got the pixel up. So go ahead and refresh this page. Actually, you know what? Add people. Add people to the bottom right or to, to the very right. Add people. So we added, we added Heather to the ad account. Mm -hmm. We're also adding Heather to the pixel. Right. So manage full control, manage pixel. You're always going full control. Assign. OK, cool. Hit done and then hit uh, refresh. Top left. Refresh. So this will eventually that red dot will eventually turn green if it doesn't turn. OK, perfect. So see, so Facebook read the page right away and activated the pixel. So you're good there. So now to the bottom left, let's go down a little further. Um, click on brand safety. This is where you would integrate the domain. So you would click on domains. And then you would add that domain. In fact, we can do it now, but it won't be active because we have yeah, to get into it. Go, go ahead and add it now. Go ahead and click on add. It'll, okay. it'll at least be set up here. So go ahead and type it in there. Actually, no, everything except for the www. No www, just the domain. 
and then add, and we'll just leave it, leave it here and we'll come back to it. So I do have a question. So if I have, you know, this registered to California, should I just like make a brand new domain then? You, it's not registered anywhere, actually. It's, it's, it, it wouldn't be specifically a st state, state related at all. Okay. Well, cause it's, I guess it's hooked up to my, my uh, California real estate website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever uh, one domain per website. So if you're going to leave it that way, then yeah, you would need a different domain. Okay. I'm gonna so what do you have? Three different, you have two different websites? Yes. That's right. You're Cali and Texas. Yes. Gotcha. Man, Heather, you're getting ready to crush it. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so then, yeah, you would need a third domain. And here's a little hack as well, if, if, if you're able to hack it, but click on, um, click on, I mean, and what I mean by hack is just a little discount, just a discount if you were to need to purchase a domain, which I think you do, you're going to, you're going to need to purchase a, a third domain right? because these are already tied to, so let's remove this one top, right? Let's just remove this one. Go into um, incognito. Do you know how to go into, where's your incognito? Click on that. You see the three, the three dots in the top, right? Where it says update in red, those three dots, you no, know, to the very top. Yeah. Click on that. Yeah. Go to new incognito window and then go to Google. Just go to google.com go to google.com and then type in cheap domains, cheap domains. So right here at the top, we should see where's your, where's GoDaddy? Do we see a GoDaddy one? We want GoDaddy, GoDaddy, GoDaddy. Normally it's an ad at the top. We didn't see at the top. Right no, go back up real quick. Normally it would be an ad. Mm -hmm. We got a uh, web, we got domain, we got Put a space in between. So go back up in, the, in your search. Put a space in between. Yeah, put a space and do it again. Search it. There it is. Perfect. So that ad, 99 cents. So this, this just simply allows you to get the next domain for, for a buck. Mm -hmm. But it's only if you, you or it's only, it's only if you haven't used that credit card with GoDaddy. So if you have a completely different credit card, maybe grab your hubbies or whatever. Mm -hmm. Just, just it, that's if you want to get it for a buck. If you don't care, then whatever. Mm -hmm. But Okay. I mean, if, if we could save a few dollars, why not? But right. click on it, click on it. It'll allow you to get it, the next domain for a dollar, but you would just set up a, a new account. Okay. And again, you can tie everything into one account. Um, and I've done this a million times because I've always, I'm just cheap like that. Yeah. I'll use different credit cards and get the next domain for a buck. And then I'll just tie it into my, my real account. So this is just a little hack. You can always do this later, but yeah, you're going to, you're going to want a third domain. Perfect. Okay. So let's go back to, um, yeah, let's go back to, to the ads manager real quick. You can I close. Just close it. Okay. Yeah, you can close it. Okay, cool. So here's where you'll add a domain. Now click on, um, click on business info to the bottom left. Okay, cool. So this is what you'll want to fill out. So um, in the top, let's start at the top. So click on edit at the top. And, and you'll want to tie this. Let's see if you're able to the primary page. Click in primary page click and type in your name. This page is probably tied to your other account. So we'll, if anything, we can untie it. But let's see if you can choose one of these. Which, which page are we going to run ads from? This one. Okay. So click on, click on save. Let's see if it allows us to save. Awesome. Cool. Okay. So now this part so, so important. Put everything in there. Um, you don't need tax ID. That can be blank. That's optional. But, but everything else... For sure, we want to we want to make sure that's that's filled in. This part is so so important is the email verification. So go ahead and put that in. Type in your email and then right um, yeah, go ahead and click on edit and then type in your email here and you have to Which put. Which one in. should I put? Um, it, it doesn't matter, but uh, but you want to make sure you you remember which one it is because you want to you want to always be able to refer back to it and check for any verifications from email or from Facebook or anything like that. So anything related to this account will be going to that email. Um, yeah. So just make sure you, you save it and then go ahead and verify it. Okay, cool. So that's perfect. Okay. So to the left, we did, we did pay. So click on pages, click on pages to the left. So let's make sure our page is over here. Okay, cool. So um, this Wait, Amanda, so do you need Amanda? Why is this realty one group? I need this one. Actually, you're in you're in the Heather Schwan one. So that's what I'm saying. You wanna you wanna change out that name because now you have two Heather Schwan accounts. Even though this one has the profile picture, but go ahead and hit the drop down to the, to the left. It's because you're in your old account. So hit the drop down to the left. Uh, Heather Schwan. No, to the left. Heather Schwan. Top. Yeah, hit that. 
See, so you're in. Actually, that that is that is that account. Okay, okay. so it pulled, it pulled. Um, yeah, that's fine because because we added the primary page. That's what it was. Okay. Because we added the primary page. Okay, so it's this account you want to be running out of, and and perfect. So who's a Taylor Winkle? Do you need that person? No, I think that okay. was something that. Well, maybe they um, they actually post on my page from LRE uh, Social. It's like they they post like content mm -hmm. like once a week or something or once every. If few you're days. paying for that, cancel it. But if you're not paying for it, then whatever. Yeah, but I'm paying twenty five bucks a month, but cancel um, it. I'd cancel it for sure. Like you don't need any of that stuff. Okay. Because because if you're yeah you don't need any of that stuff at all at all, and especially for the fact that okay you posted it on my business page the moment someone clicks on it and they go to it, is that my pixel that's tracking that visit or not? Gotcha. It's not right. So that's <clears throat> that's why it's like we're not tracking any of that data. They're the ones tracking it actually, and that's not we don't yeah that's not what we want for sure. So okay so we're good here. Um, Brand safety, we still need to add that that domain. The okay. the 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 um the pixel has been set up, the business info, all that's been set up. So now click on the three lines in the at the top. So now as you go to the ads manager, as you go and run future ads, click on ads manager. So now as you run future ads, you're gonna always want to make sure you're in the right drop down, and they're both named the same, but but you can kind of tell the difference by the profile picture. But right here, click on no. Actually, you can X out. Yeah, see, so now you're in this account, Heather Schwann, but click on click on that drop down at the top, Heather Schwann. You see how it says Heather Schwann? You want to change that, see more ad accounts? Now you have two that says Heather Schwann. Oh. You know, that's why it, it, you, you don't want to go with the same name. You want to change it out. Um, just just to, you know, just for the confusion fact of it. Is We're going to get, one? I don't know. Like, let, uh, It's actually the other one. It's the top one because the reason why I know is because there was no ads there. This one right here, you should see a ton of ads. Okay. Yeah, see, so this is your old Heather Schwann account. So you don't want to have, yeah, you don't want to, to, yeah, so the confusion isn't there. That's why you always want to name it something else. If you already have something named your name, which, you know, we all do because we all have that personal ad account. Gotcha. It's always added our, it's always our name. So maybe but, I'll just, you know, do it to real estate or ad yeah, Heather Schwann or, real ad estate. or something. Yeah, for sure. Like, and again, no one sees that. This is internal, um, but it helps you, you know, know which ad accounts, what what accounts you're in. Okay. So this right here is where is where you want to run your ads from. Brand new ad account at the top. Click on no. So here we set up the business manager. We set up the pixel, the cust or 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 the um the the ad account, the pixel, and the business manager. All the business info. So what we need now is we need that we need that custom domain. Because that custom domain is what we're going to integrate to Kartra so we can get the pages set up over here. And then and then we have to integrate it to Facebook as well. Okay. So that's kind of where we're going to be stuck. So let's save that for our next call. So try to get a hold of GoDaddy. Simply give them your name. They'll pull every account you have. And then, at, and then let them know. Say, hey, can you merge everything into this one account? Okay. And they'll just grab whatever domains you have and, and merge it into one account. That's homework assignment number one. And then homework number two is, is work on that thank you video. Okay. And then I guess really quick, can we look at that Kartra again really quick for us yes. to edit to see if it'll work? Yeah, for sure. Well, Let's I'm pull that out. Any questions on the on the business manager side of it all? Uh, not right now. I mean, it, it's very technical. So I'm, I'm like, it, you know, having to. Oh, that's, that's okay. why you got me. Don't worry. Exactly. <laughs> it's all good.